yeah, great reception out there from the crowd. Uh, what is it about Canada that you like so much? Does it remind you a bit of growing up in uh, Iowa? A uh, little bit, you know. Uh, they love a good fist fight, whether it's hockey, whether it's a fist fight, or maybe on the street. You know, they, they appreciate it. You know, these these fans are uh, are like what you want to come come do. You know, like literally, back in the days, like oh, you're fighting the best in the world. But I feel like to this day and age, like this is really true. You know, this, this isn't just Rome where you're meeting on a battleground. You're going all over the world, and uh, the the Canadian fans are some of the best fans in the world. I feel like when you go out of the country, they're they're a lot more excited. There's a little bit more better of an atmosphere. You know, as America, they're a little bit more spoiled. You know, they get fights all the time. So uh, I'm happy to be back here and uh, excited for our performance. Jeremy, how close were you to getting that fight at UFC 226 a few weeks ago? I mean, I was, I was, I was there. You know, dotted line was signed. You know, this is what we signed contracts for to fight. Uh, I was just a couple weeks out from uh, already, like I said, a golden opportunity right here, July 28th. I was ready to go. You know, I was basically, I was hoping that fight come. I was tired of camp. You know, and like really it was just kind of just maintaining at that point where you're just kind of sitting on idle, you're, you're ready to go at any moment. That, that call happened. And, uh, you know, uh, I look at it as, uh, you know, I lost a little bit more weight and I was able to eat some uh, food and be happy around this time. You know, I've had a really good high energy uh, workout. I could have kept going. Uh, I'm, I'm fed and I'm, uh, weight's good. So it, it, was, uh, it was all a big benefit. So you immediately started cutting weight when you heard that that was a possibility that you could get that fight. Yeah, I took off running like a night game at the Sandlot. You know, uh, the fireworks were going off. I could see my shadow. I'm putting in work after the second training session that I had. Woke up in the morning. I ran literally. I ran an hour and a half, and then biked another half hour. So I was I was well under 158 pounds uh, heading in there. You know, with calories still burning, and uh, you know I was on board with uh, George Lockhart Fitness VT. He's my dietitian, and uh, we were we were ready to rock. You know, uh, nothing ever came of it. No lost feelings. You know, I get a chance to put myself in an undeniable situation come uh, the Saturday. At what point did you know, like officially, that you were not going to get it? How, how late in the game was that? Uh, that's probably Thursday. Thursday. It was next next day. They're supposed to fly me out. Uh, some things uh, weren't lining up. Some media started coming out. They, they just called, "Hey, the fight's off." You know. Uh, first it was Ortega. Then one in the morning, my coach is calling me. He's blowing up my phone. Hey, you're fighting Frankie Edgar. He's telling me the combination to beat him. You know. <laughs> and I just remember going to bed. I couldn't sleep much. You know. Uh, I was just like, man, this is crazy, but we're about to do it. And I just remember my coach telling me that combo, and I went to sleep with that combo, woke up, started getting after it in the morning, and then, uh, you know, it was, uh, the fight was off after that. Do you feel like Ortega may have made a mistake by not taking a fight on that, on that card? Uh, you know what, that's, uh, that's something that he's had to deal with, you know, the fans, the, the reaction. You know, uh, that was his best opportunity to beat me, you know, uh, having to dehydrate myself. Uh, I had no coach. My coach had a bad sinus infection. He was in the hospital. Uh, it was it was a crazy moment. Maybe maybe it just wasn't supposed to happen that way. Uh, like I said, either way, my focus isn't on Ortega. I got a, an opponent who's who beat the guy that uh, he just beat on a short notice fight. And uh, like I said, I get to put myself in an undeniable situation. And it's a fight that I love waking up for. You know, uh, Jose's been around for a long time. He's been dominant. Uh, he's uh, he's a champion. You know, he's looking to pick himself back up. So I'm looking to face uh, the best Jose Aldo. And if you put us two together at our best, you guys are in for a treat. And I really mean that. Was it hard to recalibrate at all? I mean, we're three minutes into the scrum. We just mentioned Jose Aldo's name for the first time. So, like, was he at any point not in the forefront of your line? And then he was all I was focused on, you know, just the fact that uh, they had an opportunity to pop up. It, it, I was like, hey, you know, uh, Jose, uh, he had his two his two uh, championship fights. He's coming off those two losses. So they told me I was next in line to stay ready. Going into that fight week, I was like, cool, I'm going to sit back, eat some popcorn, and watch these uh, two featherweights throw down. It's going to be an exciting fight. And, uh, you know, I was, I was next in line. They called me. Uh, but at the end of the day, it was, it was a name. It was a body. I, I don't care. You know, I... Whether he, he trips, falls right here on in front of these cameras, you know, um, I'm hoping that I, I still get a body Saturday. This is what we do. This is what we sign contracts for. It's the, it's the fight business, you know. So I don't, I don't really understand the, the new era and where, where they're thinking, where their heads at. I'm a little bit more uh, savage in my mentality, you know, and uh, I think I think the fans can really appreciate that. And like I said, this, this is what we sign contracts for to fight. Are you surprised that you're the uh, betting underdog in this fight right now, with Aldo coming off two losses? That's none of my concern, man. I'm, I'm dialed in and focused, bro. If he come in here right now, I'll whoop his ass. So, I mean, that, no underdog, no bets. You guys can just watch. Angel was calling you out for a while. He was, you know, manifesting that he wanted to face you. Why do you think he wanted you to face I think we match up really well together, really. Uh, you know, uh, I think, like, if you're looking for a date fight night, I'm that, I'm that dude that you want to fight. You know, I'm going to come to fight you. You know, I'm not going to outpoint you. I'm not going to I'm not going to lay on you. Uh, we're we're going to get into a fist fight. We're going to see who who's more powerful, who's more skilled. You know, we're going to we're going to we're going to match it up. And like I said, I'm a nightmare matchup for him. You're coming in on a winning streak 
and haven't taken much damage. He's been finished in three of his last four fights. Do you think that's going to play a factor in this fight, just the wear and tear? That's something he's got to think about. Yeah. I ain't worried about him. I'm, I'm expecting uh, the best guy to show up. Uh, that's not that's none of my concern. What my concern is is just cutting weight and uh, enjoying this process and talking to you guys. All right, last question. Okay. All right, thanks. Last one. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks. Thank you.